Look over here. Quaverians. Yeah, well, look more what's left of them. They've been here for centuries. Yeah, they're so well preserved. Their bodies are all contorted, like they died in agony. Maybe, maybe birth defects of some kind? I don't know, could be sacrificed to the gods of the underworld? Imagine what poor Frey Marcus must have felt when he stumbled across it. Still no proof that Marcus actually made it this far. Come on, let's keep moving. all glacier melt. No swimming's probably not a good idea. Yeah, unless we want to freeze to death. Whoa. Hey, check it out. Over here. Wow. What? I guess they went a little crazy with the whole Temple of the Serpents thing, huh? You think it'll float? Yeah, it seems sound enough. I guess we'll find out. Here, help me push it into the water. Ready? Okay. Let's do it. One more. When I was a kid, my grandfather used to take me all over the world on his artifact hunts. We took a boat not much bigger than this all the way from Pará, Brazil to La Paz in Bolivia. Now that was quite a journey. That's Achi Huatlin. God of lakes and drowning. So, if you're in a canoe, mile beneath the earth, you want to stay on his good side. <laughs> Probably a good idea. So, you were raised by your grandfather, huh? How'd that happen? Uh, not much of a story. Both my parents were killed when I was a little kid. Really? Yeah, I know. Rough, right? But it was a long time ago. Evidently, there was a break-in. They were both shot. I don't remember much about it. Oh, Chase. I'm sorry. It's okay. So, how about you? From what Dante told me, you had it rougher than I did. Lake's not big enough for me to tell my story. Sete Sedare's emblem. Friar Marcus must have left it here. Fearing that evil spirits, devils, had claimed the souls of the dead civilization. He would have believed it had the power to ward off evil. Probably. There's no way to prove it was his. Let's keep rowing. We have to find the throne room. So, what are we looking for again? As if you don't know. Come on. Oh, you're just testing me. Okay. The throne chamber is beneath the visage of Isaac Kotlin, the god of death. He rules the underworld. If we find him, we find the chamber. Nice. According to my grandfather, in Quiveran mythology, this place is called the Tears of Chiapotex. She was separated from Mahuaquitex when the world was made and cried for a thousand years, her tears filling the second level of Mitsukan. Because she was the goddess of childbirth, 
She cursed childbearing women to an eternity of pain. <laughs> now you're lecturing. No, I'm not. But since you asked... Nope. I didn't. The chamber we're looking for contains the Throne of Gold, the center of Mitsukan, the lowest level of the Quivarian underworld. Guarded by the four aspects of Teochikami. I read his journal too, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. And who's this? Quitsakotli. God of disease, pain, plague, and insanity. One of Itzikatli's servants. Ah, such a cheerful pantheon of gods. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Huh. The pattern on this floor looks familiar. The mosaic is all scrambled. Who say they're embracing here? Looks to me like they're at each other's throats. <laughs> well, they weren't married for a million years or so. Ooh, that'd do it. <laughs> you did it again. <laughs> Boy, doors within doors within doors. Whatever's in here, the Quiverans wanted to protect it pretty badly. Yeah. Let's find out why. <laughs> 